Hello everybody and welcome to this English session with Amir sir and what we're going to study today is eliminating na. Now this is a, a very irritating habit uh, some of the speakers have to use na while posing a question and this na is really irritating because it isn't the correct way to pose a question. So today we are going to learn how to get rid of this na and let's get started. The first thing to remember is that the rectification involves a simple rearrangement of the words while asking the questions. So let's start with a simple enough example. You will help me now. If someone wants to ask this question, that's really not the way the person should be asking this. You will help me now. Now the, the punch of that na is needed because the arrangement of the words is uh, not right. So as we saw here at the top, it requires a simple rearrangement of the words. So here, instead of asking, you will help me now, if you make this minor adjustment with will you, and then pose the question, will you help me? And now you would notice that you don't have the need. You do not feel the need to use na in this position. Let's do another example. She can drive na. <laughs> she can drive na. Of course, that is the incorrect way to ask the question. She can drive na. Again, the punch of na is needed because the arrangement is improper. So let's correct it. Can she drive? And now certainly there is no need for any na there. Can she drive? And the line has been rectified immediately. Let's do one more example. Mm, everything is fine now. Nah. <laughs> Yet another incorrect way of uh, asking the question. So everything is fine now. Nah. Again, the arrangement is everything is everything fine. And the, now again, suddenly there is no need for a na to intervene. Let's go through these examples again. You will help me na? Mm -hmm. Not the right way. Will you help me? Correct. She can drive na? Incorrect. Can she drive? Everything is fine na? Incorrect. Is everything fine? Um, one interesting aspect also is that uh, sometimes it's just about replacing the word now with the word right. Now, what I what what do I mean by that? Let's take a simple example. Um, okay, let's treat it as example number four. You went to the school now. Now that is of course the incorrect way of uh, doing it. But then, what is the correct way of asking this? Now here you can't rearrange and say went you to the school now that would not be right over here so what we are discussing let me just make it a little bold what we are discussing now is that sometimes it's just about replacing the word na with the word right so what you will do in this case is you will say you went to the school right Oh, sorry. All right. <laughs> you went to the school, right? And suddenly, again, you have eliminated now successfully and in a, such a polished manner. You went to the school now. No, that's not right. You went to the school, right? And suddenly, you would not use now. Let's take one more example. Rahul uh, plays the piano now. Again, that is absolutely incorrect way to do it. So again, how to correct it? You cannot say, plays Rahul the piano. That's not the right way to pose the question. You will simply say, Rahul plays the piano. And you pose the question right. And you have eliminated now successfully yet again. So when should you just replace now with the word right? Is when you do not have an auxiliary. Let's go back and revisit those three uh, examples that we saw earlier. You have the auxiliary will over here. In the second one, you had the auxiliary can. In the third one, you had the auxiliary is. So if you have the auxiliaries, yes, you have to 
um, connected with the rearrangement of the words. But if not, if there is no auxiliary, then you simply have to replace the word na with the word right, as we saw in these two examples. Well, hope that you enjoyed this. It's a very nice and an interesting thing to remember so that you can also eliminate this na out of your speech while asking questions. So let me add a little, a little humorous thing here. Uh, about this lecture, you understood everything now. <laughs> so you will correct me and say, you understood everything, right? Yeah, that was uh, wonderful. Uh, it was a pleasure discussing this with you. Hope this helped you. Up until next time, keep learning, keep enjoying, uh, keep increasing your knowledge of English. And thank you so much for watching. Leave your suggestions and comments. Until next time, bye-bye.